Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be discussing Black Clover chapter 321 titled Excuses. So let's dive straight into this chapter. Spoiler warning before we begin. Um, so the gist of this chapter is Seki is being a coward. Uh, but not really a coward but he is a coward. He's kind of We'll go through it and discuss it. But essentially it starts off we see um Lucifero still standing tall and Seki in his mind is thinking, you know, it's all his fault that this happened. He's a legendary demon, what a monster, that kind of thing. Asta couldn't stop him, the captains couldn't stop him, I'm dead. Uh -huh. You know? Why, why, why is you know, basically he's saying like, why is you know, because he's looking at you know, he's like, why is you know still doing that? How are they still fighting? Why? And then we see Lucifero pops up in front of you and he's like, give me that brat. And you know, has a weird look on his face and Lucifero is about to smack him. He uses conjunction to dodge and Lucifero destroys the entire area where he was. Then see Seki with a eep face. Uh, usual Seki stuff but you know uses his new form or his previous form basically his self form with um, his cloak and whatnot and he tries to cut Lucifero and he makes contact but it doesn't damage him and Lucifero tells him well it's simple there's just basically a huge difference in magical power so your attacks will never hit me or even if they hit me, they will not damage me. That's the gist of what he's saying. Then see Mary Leona pop up again and she fires off an attack. And it does nothing, but he mentions, Lucifer mentions that this woman's magic keeps growing. And we see the little devil on the side looking on. And Mary Leona is like, ah, kid number two, I'm glad to see you made it. Telling that to you know. And she's like, all right, let's go. And he's like, yeah. Then we cut to Seki again. And essentially, Seki is being a coward again. He can't move. Um, or no, he says, I can move on this basically because of, you know, his magic. Kind of giving him that kind of thing. Kind of like a protection, kind of. But he also mentions that, um, you know, I should probably try to hop off of this place, this battlefield, take this cutie with me, Mimosa, and skedaddle. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, he, he's been a coward, but he's trying to portray this big, brave thing. He mentions that um, the king has acknowledged him as um, this person who's important and he's a protector. And while he's trying to show off, basically, to Mimosa, she's like, can you kindly shut up please I, i'm trying to kind of heal asta right now and that's pretty funny when she tells him that because of the face he makes but um she goes on to say and um Mimosa says she'd rather run away with asta but she can't because what he wants is to stay and fight so she's going to stay and heal him and she's trying to heal him and while this is going on seki in his head is thinking like what is this guy anyway and we get flashbacks to when Asta and him were originally met and all of that. And nothing really important but Seki reflecting and he's saying if only I'd never met him. And we see Mimosa again trying to heal Asta but her magic became undone. Either she's out of magic or her magic is just undone somehow. But we see Asta get up and he's all bloodied up. And she tells him Asta you're in no shape to do this. Asta slowly walks to the battlefield bloody and he's like just wait a minute and Mimosa pulls her Orihime on him remember when Ichigo fought Grimjaw and she told Ichigo you don't have to win just don't die well Mimosa tells Asta I'm begging you please don't die and you know Seki is like well come on there I don't get it I don't get the point you're completely injured what you think you could do if you go onto the battlefield? All the captains couldn't even win. <coughs> and you know you're just a pe peasant with zero magic. All of that Seki doing his stuff. But also while he's doing this Seki is kinda in his mind saying. You know damn it damn it damn it. 
I had all this time as a magic knight. Um, you know, I had all this opportunity, but why didn't I use this as a chance to get stronger against the Christ? So he's looking all on himself now, self-reflecting basically on why he didn't use the opportunity to get stronger, like after, who is a peasant with no magic. So that's interesting. Hopefully Seki gets a chance to shine maybe in this battle and protect someone or use a new attack or get a new spell. That would be pretty cool. But we then see you know is hit on the face and Asta is like you know I'm on my way. And then of course the last panel we see like you. So that ties into what Seki said where he says why didn't I try to get stronger like you. So he's talking about Asta and we see a beat up bloody full panel of Asta looking like he's about to kneel over and die. And the chapter ends there. So pretty good chapter i like that they're showing some development for seki um hopefully like i said he gets a moment to shine next chapter we'll see just how much Asta can do even though he's injured so interesting to see that and of course we'll see what happens to mosa and Asta if they're going to end up being the next ichigo or Hime couple or not or if it's going to be like the fanship and be Asta and noel but time will tell so i'll see you all right back here this weekend or during next week to review the next chapter i hope you all are good videos a bit late pretty busy this week had some stuff to see about at the dentist all of that so videos a bit late but i'll see you all next week hopefully on time for other reviews till then bye